Yes. So hello, 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 everybody. Um, welcome to this exciting, fabulous call for tonight. Um, there's two of us hosts on here. Um, I'm Rosalind Payne, and you can see uh, Lindsay Russell. She's muted. Let me unmute her. Can I unmute you, hon? There, there's. <laughs> and Lin Lindsay came up with this fabulous idea to put together a call or a Zoom mainly just to help folks with troubleshooting products. Um, I think that's something every one of us at, at one time or another always needs help with. Um, just so you all know who we are, um, I'm Rosalind Payne, a Diamond Gold Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. And um, this call is specifically for the power team, and the power team is my team. Um, Lindsay Russell here is one of our Diamond Ambassadors. Amazing, amazing. And um, we are kind of co-hosting this call right here. So um, without further ado, um, just welcome everybody. Just kind of sit back, get out a notepad. You, they're going to give you so much information that you are, your, your head's going to be spinning, but you're going to love it. And they're going to be saying things that you're thinking, oh, I, I, I'm so glad I finally know that. And just know for all of us, any question we have in our head, nothing is a dumb question. Because so many of us come to the game without any medical background, without any, you know, um, I, I knew nothing about supplements and products before I even really got in the game five years ago. So um, I'm excited to sit here and learn as well. And I'm going to pass this over to Lindsay, and she's going to give us just a little intro on our amazing speakers for the night. Lindsay? Thanks, Rollins. Hey, everybody. Uh, if you hear a little baby noise, I have an itty bitty five week old right here. So it's not a puppy, it's a real baby. So um, I'm so excited, y'all. I love things like this because I just feel like um, there's so many different chats that I, I feel all the time there's always a question Hey, you guys, how do you take this? How do you take this? And I feel like it's just a big question that people always have. So Super excited. Bethany Spear is precious. If you ever have a chance to meet her, you will fall in love with her. She is um, an emerald from Woodstock, Georgia. And um, she is, uh, her upline is Christy Doss. And I love how people meet their upline jaw. I love those stories. She met her at a baby shower. I think Christy asked her about her contouring or something cool about her makeup. And they got to know each other. Um, Bethany is a pastor's wife. And she has three boys. Um, and she is just a really, really strong in customer care and troubleshooting. She's one of her strengths. And she is also, y'all, such a discerning leader. She's just a great leader. Um, and Brooke Kenitz, am I saying your last name right, Kenitz? Um, I remember meeting you at convention, I think last year, and I was like, I want to be your best friend. She is just bubbly and energetic and brilliant with product information. She is um, also an emerald from McPherson, Kansas, right? And um, she has four boys. So between them, basically they have like 75 children. So seven boys is like, oh, so fun. Um, but anyway, and she's a nurse practitioner. So brilliant, brilliant about um, product information. But I love that we have someone with medical background and then someone that's not. So you don't have to have a medical background, like Ross said, to um, work with these products. But I'm glad that we have both perspectives tonight. So, um, and she married her high school sweetheart, which I think is so fun. <laughs> okay, so um, Roz is kind of going to just um, ask questions, and they're going to bounce back and forth, so like we would be sitting in a coffee shop with them asking questions. So you guys, like Roz said, get a notebook out, and um, let's get started. Great. Okay. Um, Bethany and Brooke, go ahead and unmute y'all selves, if y'all don't mind. And um, let's go ahead and just start. I just want to ask both of you all this question, um, is, you know, basically, you know, why is it good? Why do you both feel it's good to get different perspectives on how to take these products? Bethany, I'll let you start. Okay. Um, I think for me, I was um, telling another team earlier today that for me, I knew as a pastor's wife that if I was going to represent something that I was going to do it with integrity. And so for me, it's almost a point of pride um, to make sure that these products work for people because I was not going to come out and say, um, oh, let me tell you about these products. I'm sold on these products. I love them. And then have people come to me and say, yeah, they don't work. Um, and so for me, I was determined from the get go that I was going to find what worked for people, that I wasn't going to let them quit and I wasn't going to quit on them. And so because, you know, we all talk about this, that 
Um, the products are for everyone, but they're not one size fits all. And so each of us has a different need in our body. Um, our guts are all in um, a different state. And so it's so important to know your customer and to know their specific needs so that you are able to find what works for them and you're able to get them to fall in love with the products. Great. And Brooke, what's your take on this? Um, when you asked about like, why does it matter to have a different perspective? Mm -hmm. I, I think I bring a lot of this from the medical world, but just a lot of common sense that like Bethany said, there is no one size fits all, but this is not cookie cutter medicine. This is not cookie cutter science when it comes to this. Um, because one size doesn't fit all. It's more of an art than it is anything else. So one thing might work for one person and it might completely have an opposite effect in, in, for someone else. So that matter of a different perspective and having different um, trains of thought. I mean, I learned so many things from people on my team that have no medical background every single day and we're coming at it from totally different points of view. But when you put together um, like Bethany said, a passion and a belief in these products. And I will never let anybody tell me that they don't work. So I love troubleshooting because I'll, I'll figure out why it doesn't work, but it's not Plexus. Um, you brought something to the table when you came and you were already a hot mess, but it wasn't Plexus that was causing that. So um, I think different perspectives are good because there's no right answer. There's not one size fits all. And it's just kind of a, an art to kind of tweak it a little bit and find what works best. Great. Great. Okay. Well, Brooke, I'll let you uh, take the first question then. And this is just a very general question. And I get this often is people say, you know, what do you recommend people start with? And I think when they're asking that question, they're asking it from, if somebody's like, yeah, I don't really, in their mind, they don't have any challenges or illnesses, but they, they know they could feel better and should take care of their body. What do you recommend people start with or that people might recommend for potentials? 99.9% of the time, I'm going to go with Triplex because Triplex is addressing just gut health in general. And what I tell them um, that I learned from somebody on some call was that most people begin with Triplex. I use that wording, even though they may be asking my opinion, I'm giving them the opinion of what most people start with. And I tell them, you know, some people want to just start with the pink drink or they want to just start with ProBio and BioBlends. But I tell them those are kind of a trifecta. They really complement one another. They go together well. I can't think of one piece of that puzzle that I would not take daily for the rest of my life because if you didn't, you're going to miss out on some piece of gut health. So um, you, can, you can take part of it, but you're going to miss out on some plexus magic and some good, good side effect of gut health. So, um, but I also, um, and I might be getting the cart before the horse here a little bit, but I also am very honest about what I think they should take from the beginning. So if I look at you and I see that you're a hot mess and you need triplex, um, Mega X, X Factor Plus and Vital Biome, I'm going to tell you that on our very first conversation um, because I'm setting that stage for all the things I think you do need, but I'm going to say, whoa, 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 I know that sounds like a lot. Let's dial it down and let's start with what you can handle now. And then we'll talk about how we stepwise um, add those products later. And that makes it less scary when you bring that up in month two and month three and month four, when you go to add those, you don't feel like you're just pushing another product on them because you were honest from the get go of what you really thought they needed. Cause we all know when somebody needs ease and X factor plus as well, but we're too scared to recommend it cause it costs a little bit more money. So I would just be very honest cause they're your friends and they really want your honest opinion. Great. And Bethany, what do you, what do you start off with when you're a basic recommendation for somebody who just wants to dip their foot in the water? Yeah, I mean, I won't be long-winded because I'm, I'm right there with Brooke. Mm -hmm. um, I always go to Triplex. I just don't think there is a single person who can't benefit from Triplex um, just because, you know, and I tell people it's the best for overall health. And that is what people are going to use Triplex and they are more than likely like there's there's no doubt if you guide them correctly that they're going to see benefits and they're going to become a believer in the products if they're on Triplex. So that's definitely my go-to as well. Okay. And so Bethany, if somebody said, I can't really afford these products right now, but I can only afford maybe one of them. Of the Triplex, what is, what is one that you recommend first off? And I know this is different for everybody, y'all. So don't think that what they're saying is the only answer. Um, I want y'all to understand that there's going to be different answers to this. But Bethany, how would you answer that if somebody said that to you? Um, my number one go-to would be ProBio 5. If you had to pick one in the triplex, just because I think that there is just way too much that is connected to yeast overgrowth. And so um, if you're just hoping to get in there and, and help people to see a difference, um, 
making sure that you are going and you're attacking that yeast overgrowth um, above everything else. That's always going to be my, my go-to. Great. And Brooke, what's your go-to? I'm partial to ProBio5. Um, it's hard to pick a favorite product, but when you've seen something like that, just completely change your world. I tell people um, it's okay if you're scared that they're trying one product. It's okay if you think they're never going to try anything else because I have an entire leg of a team that was built on one bottle of ProBio5 because they were just going to try it with their daughter who had anxiety. And I don't care how you get it in their hands. If you get Plexus in their hands and it gets in their bodies and that family sees a change, then they're ambassadors and they're sharing it and the ripple effect is huge. So there's an entire leg built off one bottle of ProBio5 because there was that big of a difference. So um, it's, hard to, it's hard to go away from ProBio5 because it's huge. It affects everything. Great. Great. Um, okay. Here's our next question. So um, is there a time that you recommend somebody to have a slower start with the products? Or here's another, and I can reword that question too. If, if that's a little too confusing for our, our guests to understand how I pose that question, how do you recommend somebody start the triplex? Brooke, I'll let you start with this one. Okay, so it kind of depends. I'll tell you how I started it and it's not recommended. Um, I'm a nurse practitioner and we're not very smart, but if it says take two ibuprofen or four on the bottle, we're gonna take four because four must be better than two. So on day one, um, don't gasp y'all, but I took four BioCleanse and four ProBio on day one of Plexus. But I also knew, I know the joke's on me, right? Haha, ha, it really was. But I also knew that I wasn't going to quit. I knew that, I mean, I was tough enough to handle the side effects. So I tell people, this is what I did. I went through detox swift, fast and furious, and I felt like a million bucks really quickly but most people can't handle that. So this is the slow start guide, but I give them the choices and I let them know. Now I have a big network of healthcare professionals and a lot of us apparently are pretty stubborn. So there are a lot of people that I will give the slow start guide to and I check in with them and they're at like four pro bio and I mean, they're cranked up right away, but I always give them, I have a, um, a how to take triplex video that I kind of send to people. It's a few minutes long. And then um, the slow start guide of, you know, you can start with your bio cleanse and one slim a day and then depending on how many bowel movements a day you're having when you add in your ProBio5. But I always kind of recommend um, a slower start for people. But there are people that dive right in, um, like myself. And um, although not recommended, um, I think it depends on how much uh, uh, perseverance, I guess, or stubbornness that you have to go along with that, whether or not you can, you can hang. So, Okay, Bethany, how do you recommend folks take the triplex when they start off? Um, if it's just someone like... In general, we're not talking about, you know, necessarily an issue. Um, I start everyone on everything, but I start it slow, if that makes sense. So, for instance, on day one, they're going to take their slim. They're going to take one bio cleanse in the morning, and then they're going to take one bio cleanse and one pro bio five at night. Um, and then they're going to stick with that for a couple of days. And that's where obviously your customer care comes in, that you're checking in and making sure that things are going well for people. Um, so then I'm going to go in and then I'm going to talk them through, okay, great. If you're feeling great, if you're not dealing with a lot of, you know, detox or die off, let's go ahead and let's move that up. Let's add another bio cleanse in and let's add in another pro bio five. Um, so again, you're really reading people's bodies and seeing how they're responding to people. And I know Brooke and I kind of talked about this today and, and kind of the way that we do things differently. And I love that because I think that is so beautiful with these products. Like Brooke said, they're not cookie cutter and different people can plow through them different ways. Um, for me personally, I, I like to kind of, it's not the slow start because I know our, our typical slow start is like you start one product and then a couple of days later you start another. So I'm starting all the products at once, but you are still starting them slow. You're not diving in with three pro three or four pro bio five or whatever. Um, so that's, that's kind of how I typically go about it and, and making sure that people are, um, like Brooke was saying, having those bowel movements and working through that detox properly. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Bethany. Um, okay, here's another question we have. Um, and this, we well, have a lot of new folks that are on this call tonight. So, um, Brooke, can you explain just really quickly what detox is? Because I know we've been throwing that around a little bit, and I just was made aware that there's a few people that don't know what that is. So, can you explain, Brooke, what detox is? 
so I always explain, you know, your microbiome of your gut, you have the good guys and the bad guys. And most of us, the bad guys are winning because the bad guys are the bad bacteria that are being fed by sugar, alcohol, processed foods, um, prescription medications, birth control, ibuprofen, you name it. All the stuff that we've encountered since your first amoxicillin when you had an ear infection before you were one year old, you began to develop yeast overgrowth and bad bacteria. So the bad guys are winning. We want the good guys to win. So the probio five goes in there, the antifungal and the good bacteria, and it starts to break down the bad stuff. So when that happens, the bad bacteria literally start to die off, right? So they like actually put off gases and they, um, they're, they're dying literally on a microscopic level. They're dying in your body. Your gut is kind of going through a detox. And so you're going to notice a lot of unpleasant symptoms. I had anxiety. I guarantee most people, your anxiety will get worse before it gets better. I had acne. Your acne will get worse before it gets better. Um, so as all those bacteria and toxins are leaving your body, um, that's when you're going to notice these unpleasant symptoms. That's why we want people to be going to the bathroom. So um, bacteria and toxins are going to leave your body three different ways. I always say the three P's, pee, poop, and pores. So you want to be pooping two to three times a day. Um, you can go more than that. I promise you, your body will thank you for that because you do not want that bad stuff in there when it's dying off. Um, you want to be drinking your water so you're peeing. You want to break a sweat. So if you can tolerate it and you're not feeling too crummy, get to the gym, do something to break a sweat because literally that stuff's going to be coming out of your pores. Um, no joke. So that's kind of that process of getting the good guys to win um, in, that, in, that, in that kind of in between. When that's happening, the bad guys are dying off and that's when we notice those unpleasant um, symptoms that we call detox or die off. Great. Bethany, um, give me a, a kind of a little short laundry list of some detox symptoms. What are some detox that people might experience? Um, let's see. So fatigue, actually, you know, and some people are so confused because they're like, I thought you said this product was going to give me energy. Yeah. Um, but at first it can make you more tired. It definitely did for me. Um, bloating, constipation, nausea, um, skin, um, you know, some people get like rashes or, um, like Brooke was saying, acne, um, I'm trying to think what some other ones are. Those are just like the first kind of really common ones. Oh, headaches. Headaches are definitely a major one that people tend to talk about. And Bethany, how much water do you recommend that your um, customers drink? I always tell people to aim for half of your body weight in water. And I know that's for a lot of people that sounds overwhelming, but the, the thing that I love, and I, I tell them this too as an encouragement, um, the longer that you are on um, plexus, you start to crave water. I never craved water like I did once I got on plexus. And so I'm like, you know, that sounds like a lot now, but I promise as you get consistent with your products, you want it, your body wants it and you'll start to crave it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so let's talk a little bit about some of our individual products and, um, kind of when to recommend them and when to adjust them. So, um, Bethany, I'll have you start. Um, so you have somebody on ProBio 5 and they say it doesn't seem to be doing anything. At what point would you discuss adjusting and how would you adjust? Um, so usually if, if people aren't seeing anything, then we probably haven't gotten far enough into the issue. Um, and so that's when I'm going to say, hey, you're not feeling anything, you're not seeing anything, we need to keep digging. Um, and so that's when you're going to up that, that ProBio 5 dosage because you really need to get to, you know, the, the down and dirty and the gritty of whatever it is that's going on in your gut. Um, and then I always recommend people to take it at nighttime. Um, ProBio 5 is one you want to take at night on an empty stomach. But you are going to have some people and I, I think Brooke and I kind of talked about this today. I would rather you take it at some point rather than not take it at all. If you're, at, if you're getting it in some capacity, that's better than not taking it at all. So if you get people that start, and I've had this, um, they just say, I, I don't know why, but I can't tolerate it on my stomach at night. And so then I'm like, okay, well, let's try it first thing in the morning and let's see what happens with that. Um, so there's definitely ways to move it around and change it. But when, when it comes to, I'm not seeing anything, it's, it's because we got to dig deeper and we've got to get that dosage up higher. Got it. Okay. And Brooke, regarding ProBio 5, somebody comes to you and says they're having stomach issues. They haven't, you know, they've bloating and whatnot. Um, 
How many ProBio 5s from the beginning would you recommend they take and when? Um, I tend to take, like Bethany said, start everybody on something day one. So like even my parents who are 73 and 75 when they started products, I started them on one bio cleanse and one pro bio at bedtime. Because like Bethany said, I would rather have adherence and have you be consistent and take it every day, um, even if it's not the right time, because it's not going to do you any good on your shelf. So um, I would still start at one just because that's a lot um, and taking four in one day is not recommended. So I would start with one a day. Um, and then I would quickly, you know, if you can tolerate that for a couple of days, then I increase it to two. And then if you're tolerating that for a couple of days and you're going to the bathroom more specifically, cause you don't want to be adding in pro bio if you're not pooping. If you're one of those people who, um, I don't know if you guys have met them, but the people who poop twice a month, which by the way, that's not normal. If you don't know that and you're on this call, that's not normal. We need to talk to you. Um, then you do not want to be killing off stuff if it's not going to be eliminating and leaving your body because your your detox will be um, you'll quit. I mean, people aren't tough enough for that. So I would as, as much as they can tolerate every few days or you know every three or four days, um, I would increase their probio five. Um, and I know you asked Bethany, but when to increase that? I always say if you're not noticing the changes in sleep, if you're not noticing that your eczema or your allergies are better, if you're not noticing your sugar cravings are better your anxiety is not where you want it to be, all those things that you look at as a side effect of leaky gut, then you need to keep increasing that ProBio5 to help those good guys win in there. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, you know, moving on to talk about BioCleanse. Um, there's been two, multiple trains of thoughts regarding BioCleanse. Some say to take it in the morning and take your ProBio5 at night. Rick, I heard you just recommend you take recommend bio cleanse and pro bio five in the evenings um since you're up you'll go ahead and share with me um how, why you recommend that in that way honestly it's more about adherence so when i started plexus i mean here i was working like three quarters time in a clinic mom of four boys busy schedule i can't remember anything unless it's morning and night i have never taken anything in plexus except for morning and night um and so I think in my opinion, and other people might have other ones, I'm definitely not the end all plexus guru, but um, I feel like that they tell you not to take the bio with the pro bio because it's going to eliminate the pro bio from your system, therefore not work. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not, unless you're going to get up and go to the bathroom and have a bowel movement at three in the morning, that bio, that pro bio five is going to work all night long on your gut, which is where we want it to be. Um, so I would rather you again, get the products in your system then miss out on having them at all. And um, that being said, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to mention this, but my kids take all of their stuff at night together every single night and they always have because that's what works for them and they've had amazing results, so. Great, and Bethany, how do you recommend uh, your customers take BioCleanse? I'm pretty much the same way and it really is more about convenience. Um, I, the majority of people that come to me are like, I can't keep up with taking a million pills a day. Like, I won't remember that. And so the simpler you make things for people, the more likely they are to jump on board with something. If you can simplify it and say, oh no, I promise, it's so easy to take. You know, we talk about, get on and show people like you pour in your Slim in and mixing it up, like boom, I'm done. Um, people want easy, they don't want something that's gonna complicate their life. So the easier you can make it for them, the more likely they are to jump on board and to stay consistent with it. So I'm the same way morning and night with, with BioCleanse. And the thing is, um, you know, they're, there have been a lot of contradicting things about taking BioCleanse and ProBio5 together, um, but it works. I mean, you know, I have seen ProBio5 make a huge change in my life personally, and I've always taken it with BioCleanse. So. Okay. Now, um, there was a question that was posed on this group here. Somebody said that um, some of our customers can't deal with the bloating of BioCleanse. What do you each think of that? They say they can't deal with the bloating of bio cleanse and had someone quit after a week and because they said the bloating would not pass. What would you say to a customer that says that? Um, I say that you're either not drinking enough water, so therefore you're retaining water because you're taking in magnesium and it's an electrolyte issue, a balance issue, or you're not pooping enough. Um, one of the two things is going on. So um, I know we didn't really cover this, but you talked about kind of bio cleanse and and what we tell people to take. I always say, if you're not pooping two to three times a day, you increase your bio cleanse. Um, you can take more than four. You can safely handle six, really, like any adult weight can. In fact, you can actually handle more than that. I would probably message us privately or before you get too crazy with it. Um, but our, we can handle 
like boatloads of magnesium, I promise you safely. Um, and it sure beats the heck out of Miralax or anything else they're telling you to take over the counter. So if you're not pooping enough, you increase your magnesium, you increase your bioflens, but you have to increase your water exponentially with that because that's how it works. Um, if you're pooping too much or it's too loose, then you back off the bioflens. That's kind of what I tell people because it's going to be something they adjust as their gut heals. I couldn't tolerate one bioclins at first, and now I take four every day, but my gut has healed over the course of almost three years. So um, it's just kind of different. But yeah, it's either, I would say you're not pooping enough or you're not drinking enough water. Okay. I think too, um, something that I've noticed across the board, and it's no one's fault, it's just kind of what we've become used to because of the state of our bodies, is people don't know what is normal when it comes to pooping. Like, I will, I will have people come to me and they will say like, I've, you know, I'm pooping a lot or they'll say like, it's really runny. And I'm like, what's, what's really runny? I know y'all, this is TMI, but this is what we do. Um, you know, and I'm like, are we talking like liquid? Or are we talking like soft serve ice cream? Yes, I take it there. Um, <laughs> and, and people will say, well, like soft serve ice cream. I'm like, that's normal. Like, we don't know normal because our bodies have been so jacked up for so long, but that is the consistency that people's poop should be. And they think that there's something wrong with that. And so they're, they're thinking like, Oh, this product, it's too much. Like I'm going to the bathroom like three times a day. And it's like this, you know, whatever consistency. And so you have to help people to understand, although it's not normal to you, it is normal. And it, it really is what our bodies should be doing. Thank you for saying that because I've had a lot of people ask that exact question. So that's awesome. Okay, I've got people asking about loading doses and a loading dose, that terminology for anybody that has not heard that terminology before, that's how many could somebody actually take in one day and, and, and be safe? What's the max dose? So what would you all say would be the max dose of ProBio5? You have one, Brooke? Um, well, if I, if somebody I know, um, or myself, if I've been on antibiotics, which has only happened once in my whole plexus journey, I took six to eight probio five a day. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, my mom's 70 now she's 75 and, um, I had her on six probio when she was on antibiotics and in the hospital and she recovered in miraculous, like speedy time. In my opinion, the only thing you're going to do is waste money. Um, and it's going to go out the other end if you don't need it. That's my opinion when it comes to ProBio5 because my baby takes one and my 12 year old takes two. So, so you yeah. would say two for a child, like four for adults would be kind of a standard dose. And then if mm -hmm. they're on antibiotics, you up it up to eight, you said, okay. I what have. And I've known people to do that and they spread it out during the day because you got to realize that antibiotics is killing a lot of that good stuff anyway. So you just want to prevent further damage because we all know one round of an antibiotic can damage your gut for up to a year. And I'm not willing to settle for that how far I've come. So I'm going to like ward off as much of that damage as I can. What about BioCleanse? What would be your max? You'd, I know you said you can take as much magnesium, but just for somebody not to be in the restroom every quarter hour, you know, what would a, what would a max dose of bio cleanse if somebody's extremely backed up and in pain and whatnot? How I many? mean, we, we have people that take a day. A day. Um, mm -hmm. They shouldn't do that consistently forever mm -hmm. and they shouldn't need to. Like their body will eventually adjust and they will eventually heal. And as their gut heals, they shouldn't need that. But sometimes it's, I mean, if they're doing that, they need to be working on other things with vital biome and probio five. And as that microbiome changes and it becomes more favorable and healthy, you're going to not need six bio cleanse every day just to poop because that's that shouldn't be required you know what i mean got it okay bethany um let's talk about our flagship product our slim um tell me how you recommend your uh new customers take their slim so um brooke and i were talking about this today it's really funny because i think so many people are married to the fact that you have to take slim first thing in the morning in order for it to be effective. Um, this is probably the main product for me that I move around for people because um, the majority of people that are coming to Slim, I mean, you do have people, like I'm insulin resistant, and so I'm, I'm coming at it, yes, for blood sugar, but insulin resistance also comes with extreme fatigue. And so for me, my number one priority is I want to be awake and I want to be active when my kids get home from school. And so someone like me, um, when I took Slim in the morning, um, 
I, my energy was still zapped and gone in the afternoon um, because I've eaten breakfast, I've eaten lunch. And so then again, my, my blood sugars are out of whack. And so I will tell people the way that we recommend it, which is to take it either 30 minutes before breakfast or 30 minutes before lunch. But nine times out of 10, I have my people taking it after lunch um, because they seem to get the most of you know their sustained energy taking it after lunch and so all the time I get people saying I'm just not getting this energy I'm not just getting I'm not getting energy or so and so says they're not getting energy and I'm like have them try taking it after lunch and they'll be like wait that you can do that you can do that like, yeah you can do that um, so I'm gonna start it off how we recommend it but I almost that's always a product that I almost always tweak for people especially when they're like I'm not seeing any changes. Well, let's move your slim and let's at least get your energy going. Great. And Brooke, when do you recommend your customers and ambassadors take their slim? Uh, most of mine do first thing in the morning, just because that seems to be what works best for people. But again, I tell them if you forget, get it in whenever you get it in. I don't care so much if it's 30 minutes before breakfast. I think that's to give you appetite control at breakfast. I'm not a huge breakfast eater anyway. So I'll just eat a small portion no matter what I do. So oftentimes I drink it with my breakfast. So um, I, but I, again, I tell them it doesn't matter if you forget, get it in any time during the day. Um, if you're a thyroid medication user, then they have to separate that. They say by um, four hours to be safe. Theoretically, it can be as much as two. Um, but uh, other than that, most of my people drink theirs first thing in the morning. But like Bethany said, I move that around or I tell them I really am very, um, low maintenance when it comes to this. And I tell them, I don't really care so much about schedule. I care that you put the products in your body consistently every single day. There's always an optimal time, but um, getting it in there is better than not getting it in. So I would take that over optimal time any day. Great. Okay, now um, I've had a, a lot of customers um, adding ease to their regime. Um, and a lot of folks with back pain, with tennis elbow, with um, pain such as this, how would you wreck if somebody came to you with basic pain and they've been loading up on Motrin and Tylenol? How would you recommend they start easing ease into their program? Brooke? Um, I, I generally start it slow just because it's something new if it's the first thing you've ever done. So maybe one twice a day or two twice a day, kind of see how you tolerate that. And if that goes okay, then I would bump them up to the, the six. And I tell them, I don't care if it's three twice a day or two, three times a day. Again, I'm going to go with easy. So three twice a day is easier for me. And I'm going to remember to get that in. Um, the biggest thing I would say for that is they can't do it for three days and expect a miracle. Like you have people who tennis elbow, like epicondylitis. I don't know if you've ever dealt with that. That's like physical therapy for weeks. That's major inflammation. And that's like a bear to get over. And then they don't know why they don't feel better in 10 days because it takes weeks. So we're talking weeks of that loading dose of six per day. Same with chronic back pain or chronic inflammation. Um, definitely you need to stay on that and stay on it for a long time, just like you would an ibuprofen or an, a prescription strength anti-inflammatory. It's going to take a long time to actually stamp out that inflammation. Okay. Okay. And Bethany, um, is there a specific time that you recommend people use Ease, um, the pills and the cream? I've had people ask this before. Um, I mean, it really depends. Like I've talked to Brooke a lot about this today because the majority of, of my customers that I've had use Ease don't necessarily use it for a chronic problem. It's more like they're replacing it with their Motrin or their Tylenol or their, like, I love it after a good, you know, after a workout. Um, it just helps me so much with that post-workout soreness. So obviously that's the time that I'm going to take it. Um, but other than that, not really. I, I've heard things and Brooke maybe can speak into this a little bit more. Um, I feel like I heard, cause a lot of people were doing the uh, inflammation challenges with ease I'm um, seeing weight loss come because of inflammation um, but I heard people saying like don't take ease um, close to the time you you consume a protein is that a thing Brooke honestly that's the first I've heard of it so okay I, I mean I if that's the case wrong <laughs> um, but I don't I don't think so I don't see any reason unless one of the smart pharmacists on this call wants to pipe up I know there's a couple on here 
um, that can tell me why the, you know, that digestion at the same time as a protein would not be okay. But I cannot think of off the top of my head why that would not be okay. Okay. That's the only thing that I've ever heard conflicting um, as far as like when you should or shouldn't take it. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay. Um, Brooke, edge and vital biome. At what time do you recommend each of those products? When people are coming to you with ailments and issues, when would you recommend edge and when would you recommend vital biome? Um, so vital biome is one of my favorite products. I like to tap into that after we've maxed out triplex, after we've gotten them going to the bathroom, pooping two to three times a day, and they're at a good level of the probio five. So not just one or two, but they've been taking three or four and they're not still seeing what they want to see. And it's not about not seeing results. It's about just getting that garden weeded. So you're ready for vital biome. I tell people all the time, you can't plant seeds on concrete if you throw them there. So Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Just had to decline a call. One of my ambassadors is super excited after the opportunity of it. I guarantee it. <laughs> um, anyway, she, so, um, but you can't plant seeds. Seeds won't grow on concrete. So you can't really, you can throw vital biome in there on month one, but you're not going to get the results you want unless you've done the proper weeding of that garden first, in my opinion. So the good guys aren't going to grow in a environment that's not hospitable for that. So, um, I like to do it after that. Now you do have the people who say, I can only afford one product. What do I do? Um, and I have anxiety and I'm like, well, okay, here's the deal. I'm really partial to ProBio5. However, ViralBio has been clinically proven to reduce anxiety. So we kind of walk through that. Or do you have acne, sugar cravings, anxiety? Depending on what it is, if it sounds more yeast overgrowth, I'm gonna go towards ProBio5. If it's just anxiety and a few things like that, I'm gonna go towards ViralBiome. As far as when to take it, um, you know, morning, they say is best when your GI system is at rest. I can tell you that um, my two guys that are 10 and 12 take it at bedtime and always have since it came out and have had great results with that. So again, daily adherence versus optimal time. I would choose adherence every time just because it's consistency and it's going to get in your system. Um, edge, I would say take it whenever you need that boost, whether, um, you know, some people might need it first thing in the morning. But I always recommend starting edge with a lot of protein and a lot of, a lot of water. So make sure that you're starting with a lot of protein. Some people can't do a full edge capsule and they open it up and it's kind of bitter. Um, that's okay. If you want to do that, just make sure it's with a lot of protein, lots of water. So some people don't need that pick me up till mid afternoon. Um, but it kind of depends on when they feel they need it the most, in my opinion. I'm not sure there's a wrong time, quite honestly. Okay. Okay. And Bethany, what about you for Vital Biome? How do you recommend your customers take Vital Biome? Um, I'm the same way. I, I like to wait until they have really established with Triplex, just because it's like trying, like she said, planning on concrete, but I always say it's like trying to plant on top of weeds. Um, what's the point? Because it's not really going to grow. So, um, and I always tell people to take it first thing in the morning. Um, so. Okay. Um, for you all that, uh, your clients that have taken Battle Biome and come back and been very happy with it, after about how long does it usually take them to really start feeling a difference with Vital Biome? I mean, just a ballpark. What would you guys think? I, I've had just ranges everywhere. Um, I think it really does depend. Like, you know, you get that question from people a lot, like, how long is it going to take me to see a difference? And I'm like, well, the state of your gut is different than the state of my gut and then is different than the state of her gut. Um, so I've had people who have seen a difference super fast. I've had others who have been on it for like a month and they're still telling me they're not really seeing much, but we get into month two and then they start to see a difference. So it really is all about the state of their gut, which is why, again, I want to establish that triplex of getting their gut to a healthy state so that everything is actually, um, you know, colonizing like it should. Okay, great. And um, Brooke, if somebody contacts you and says that they've been dealing with anxiety and depression and they can only afford one product, you would recommend Vital Biome? <sighs> It's hard to say. Um, and I don't know if there's an exact answer for that because mm -hmm. I ask them a lot of questions and I want to know besides that, you know, how is, skin? how is your sleep? How is, you know, do you have sugar cravings? If you're a sugar eater, you need ProBio5 because I can tell you that ProBio5 will change your anxiety like none other because it happened to me and I was a full-fledged sugar addict. So 
um, you need to eliminate that yeast. So we really need to hone in on that. Um, Vital Biome could do the trick as well, but um, you're going to battle that yeast overgrowth and that bad, um, you know, microbiome to get the Vital Biome to work. So it kind of depends. If they don't have sugar cravings and carb cravings, I'm not talking just sugars, but mm -hmm. sugar and carbs and everything that breaks down to sugar in the body, if they don't have those cravings, then I might start with just Vital Biome first. Okay. Thank you for that answer. I've had this question multiple times from folks that are trying to troubleshoot with some of their customers. So thank you guys. Okay, um, Brooke, you touched on this a minute ago and it was one of my uh, questions that I had here. Um, there's a lot of folks out there who are on thyroid medication. Um, for folks on thyroid that are currently taking thyroid medication, how do you recommend they take the triplex? Um, I tell them most of them, a lot of them are taking their thyroid medicine in the morning. The first thing I'll do is honestly, I ask them if they're willing to move it to nighttime. There's no reason you can't. Every drug formulation out there or software is going to tell you to take it in the morning. Every pharmacist you talk to is going to tell you you can take it whenever you want to as long as you're consistent. So if they're willing to do it, I ask them to move it to nighttime so they can start their slim in the morning so they can get the most out of their day. Um, if they won't or they, they've tried it and it just doesn't work for them, then I'll have them, um, they do their thyroid medicine first thing in the morning and then they'll drink their slim usually around lunchtime. Um, and then they won't take their bio cleanse until that time as well as with lunch. Um, the pharmacists on our team will tell you that they think that ProBio5 and thyroid medicine are okay because you A, have bacteria in your gut and you B, have digestive enzymes that are already in there. So it's not going to be any different than regular digestion for them. Um, so it kind of depends on when they take their medicine, but they should theoretically separate it from their med medication by two to four hours. Two to four hours. Okay. And Bethany, are you about the same with that as well? Yeah. I've always, I mean, again, I have no medical background, so I I have always just done the two to four hours um, because I didn't know enough about thyroid medication to say, hey, you can take it at night. You know, I just knew that those had to be separated. So I'll typically tell them, you know, take your thyroid meds in the morning. Let's start all your, um, your Plexus products around lunchtime. Great. Great. And so um, even then that would even include vital biomes since folks say to take that first thing in the morning, that would include that as well? Yeah, I just do. I just have them again. It's probably just the ease, you know, mm -hmm. it being easier and more convenient, but let's just do knock it all out, you know, at the same time kind of thing. Okay. Okay. Bethany, this one's for you here. Um, for um, somebody who is struggling with ADD or ADHD, what do you recommend? So um, my son is ADHD mm -hmm. and we just, um, we're coming up on a year that we took him off of ADHD medication um, because we were seeing some not good side effects um, from it. So I did a lot of research and um, there's probably the, mi the main places that I would start. Um, and this is going to differ, and, and some of it is some trial and error. Um, my son is 10 years old, and we do Mega X, um, ProBio5, BioCleanse, and sometimes we use Edge. Um, so the reason behind this, so I, I went live on my, um, on my personal page tonight just talking about the gut-brain connection and just how fascinating it is. And so, you know, you want to go in with this ProBio5 because a lot of the ADHD, a lot of, you know, you can link anxiety, depression, all of that with it. Um, the majority of our serotonin and the majority of our hormones are produced in our gut. And so then we've got this vagus nerve that runs and sends messages between our gut and our brain. And so you've got to get your gut to a healthy state if you want to get your brain to a healthy state mental state. Um, elimination is huge. You will see a lot of ADHD or ADD kids who have bowel issues. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because there is that connection between your gut and your brain. My son is one of them. We've always had bowel issues with him. Um, and so again, making sure that they are eliminating. Then you've got your omegas, which are huge for brain health and brain development. Um, the thing that fascinated me so much is we took my son to a child psychiatrist, and he's very much um, takes kind of a holistic approach. And he was telling me that there is this medical food. It's called a medical food. It's called Viarin, um, and a lot of times they'll get kids to use that instead of medication. And when I asked him what it was, it basically boiled down to being omegas. 
Um, and so I said, huh, well, he's already on like the best form of Omegas that you could ask for. And so um, definitely, definitely Mega X. And then Edge, if you don't know this, for ADD and ADHD kids, stimulants have an opposite effect on them. And so whereas for us, we might take, uh, you know, we might drink our coffee to get us hyped up. For an ADD or ADHD kid, it has the opposite effect. So my son's going to drink some coffee, and it's actually going to calm him down. And so Edge is going to do that same thing, only it's natural. Um, and so it doesn't have that jitterny, jitteriness with it. Now for him, he's 10, and he can't handle the whole capsule. So we do open it up and, and um, only give him about half of it. But those are kind of my, my staples, I would say, for sure, ProBio5, BioCleanse, Mega X. Great. And Brooke, what, what do you recommend when somebody comes to you and says that somebody in their family has ADD, ADHD? Um, similar to what Bethany said, and we talk about this often, it seems like it comes up probably once a week um, mm -hmm. with somebody on our team page. And we've had several people on our team have good success. with. Um, we're oftentimes talking about, you know, how big is the kid? How much edge can they handle? Because I'm of the theory, like, I want them off that prescription medication as quickly as we can. We don't want to stop that cold turkey, but I do not want to put that in their body if they do not have to have it there. So a lot of times we'll start edge slowly as we're slowly helping them um, decrease that prescription medication, all while we're working on gut health. Because like Bethany said, that stimulant is what calms them. So it brings them up and balances them out, um, which is different than how it affects you and I. Um, so that is how they're treating that. So I don't want to just stop, you know, their Ritalin or their Vyvanse or whatever drug that they're on without giving them something else and making them, them feel miserable. So I want to temporarily, if we can, put them on edge while we're working on their gut. And obviously the long-term goal is to heal their gut and get their microbiome where it should be to where they don't need any of that at all. Will that happen? I don't know, but I'm always hopeful that that's the kind of the end result. But um, omegas should be the first line therapy that anybody puts anybody on. For, um, you know, ADD or ADHD, I can tell you the medical world does not do that very well, but we should. Um, and so omega should be the first line therapy, um, total gut health. So you're talking pro bio five and bio cleanse and getting those bowel issues under control. Cause like Bethany said, any kid that has those issues, I promise you is not pooping correctly or has a history of bad pooping issues as a kid and probably always has. Um, and then some of them are even doing slim for the prebiotics. Um, so some of these small kids are even doing the full on triplex plus omegas, and a lot of times the X-factor chewables for extra probiotics and vital biome. So we're talking like massive gut makeover um, with edge in there as needed. Great. Okay, thank you. And um, let's see, we're almost, we're getting close to 10 minutes left here. Um, for someone here, and this is a big question because the, there, there's a lot of legs to this one. Um, autoimmune issues. Um, what is your core product recommendation for folks coming to you with autoimmune issues and you can break down individual ones if you want to correct if you want to start with that one me um i so i keep it pretty simple because in my mind all autoimmune issues are related they're inflammation at their base and they are gut health related so i think you do i mean again a gut health makeover so you're talking about triplex you're talking about getting the most out of your probio 5 getting them to eliminate um, I would say that if you think that somebody with autoimmune disease is pooping every day, you're probably wrong. I mean, you talk to somebody with RI, RA or fibromyalgia or something, these people are pooping every five days. They have serious, serious gut issues. So you got to, these are the ones who I also found are not very tough. Sometimes no offense if you're on this call, I'm just saying you guys have been through a lot. And so it takes a lot to take someone from pooping every five days to working with you slowly to get adherence, to even get to where you can start with the ProBio5 and see some success. Because that's a long process sometimes for these people. So um, BioCleanse, ProBio5, um, and Slim, obviously the full triplex. Um, and then Ease, if you can get them to start with Ease at the very beginning to stamp out some of that inflammation, um, you're looking at attacking the root cause of the inflammation by targeting the gut, and then you're gonna add on vital biome. But if you can start them on ease and they can swing it financially, they're going to see some of that inflammation um, level drop a little bit there too. Okay. And Bethany, what about you? What about some of your customers or ambassadors that have come to you with autoimmune issues? Tell me um, some ways that you've recommended product usage. Um, so obviously your autoimmune people are going to be those people that you're going to have to ramp that ProBio5 up because they've got so much of that overgrowth going on. 
Um, so triplex, obviously. Um, and I'm a big proponent for X factor um, with autoimmune because there's just so much research that's been done on how aloe is a healing agent for your gut. Um, and I've seen it with my husband, um, but also just because of that leaky gut syndrome and how you tend to um, lose so much like of your nutrients and you're not absorbing properly. Um, it's so important to get that, those vitamins in and not just in, but because of that aloe that's in ours, that's driving it into their cells and it's going to increase that absorption. Um, nutrient absorption seems to be an issue for a lot of people with autoimmune as well. So um, those are kind of my, my go-to. My husband has ulcerative colitis um, and he actually, his is probably not as extreme as other people's, but he never had to do ease, um, was able to get it under control. So I know that there are people that where autoimmune is a huge inflammation is a huge thing. Um, but for most of my people, um, we've been able to get some results and see some relief with triplex and X factor. Awesome. Um, okay. Um, what about migraines, Bethany? Someone comes to you, they've struggled with migraines their whole life on and off. Um, how would you start them off? Um, definitely triplex. So um, I have a girl right now who actually, she just started and she just messaged me this week and told me that she is not having migraines anymore like she used to have. Um, migraines, um, there's a lot of different causes to migraines, but hormone imbalance is a really big one. And so when you're going in and you are using slim and you're using probio five and bio cleanse to get your gut healthy, which means you are um, getting your hormones in balance, then that makes a huge difference when it comes to migraines. Um, I do have some people who will use ease as well um, because inflammation, obviously um, some migraines are linked to inflammation and it kind of can help to take the edge off. But when we're, we're talking about really just getting to the root of migraines, um, I have had multiple people see relief with triplex. Great. And Brooke, what about you? What is your go-to for um, a migraine sufferer? I would definitely say um, triplex as well. But the other thing to remember is in the beginning when your gut is still getting worked on and you're not quite there yet, so you're not seeing as much of that hormone regulation and you're still struggling with the occasional head hopefully the, not the occasional migraine, but if you do, um, BioCleanse should be your go-to, like extra BioCleanse and lots of it. Because in the ER, if you come in with a migraine, um, a proper um, healthcare professional will not give you narcotics. They should give you um, IV fluids. Sometimes you'll get caffeine. A lot of times you'll get a dose of magnesium and then B vitamins. So we have a lot of those, right? So we can hit you with extra X factor. We can give you edge with natural caffeine. And then we can give you BioCleanse, like lots and lots and lots of BioCleanse. And there's nothing wrong with hitting some electrolytes and lots and lots of fluids in the meantime. Um, most of those people are going to, we have people on our team who are daily or weekly migraine sufferers who haven't had migraines in years. So um, triplex and gut health and hormone regulation are where it's at. But if you struggle with some of those in the meantime, or when things are stressful, or we're not doing very much self-care because we're all hyped up and it's the end of the month or whatever it is that we do, then edge, extra B vitamins, um, and then your extra bio cleanse will help you with the occasional headaches. Awesome. Great. Um, okay. I'm going to um, pose just a couple questions that our viewing audience is asking here. Um, one of them is, and this was interesting, asking if birth control affects the probiotic at all. Does, is there any conflict with taking birth control and probio five? Like the effectiveness or I'm not sure what the question is. It says, does birth control affect the probiotic at all? She has a potential asking. I would say the probio five is not going to affect the effectiveness of the birth control. Um, but I can tell you that putting any hormone in your body that's not designed to be there, that is not the way God designed our bodies to be, um, is going to work against your gut health mm -hmm. overall. So if you're putting a level of a hormone in your body in a daily birth control, it's going to work against progress that you might see down the road if you're not seeing the results you want to see. That's because you have an artificial level of hormones in your body that was never meant to be there. Got it. 
And um, there's a question coming off of our ADD, ADHD chat on our number six item that we were talking about here. They're asking, how much would you recommend a child? And I'm saying child, I'm reading this, I'm thinking under 12 years old, under 100 pounds. How much would you recommend they take? How many products? Um, oh, how many products? Like, are I mean, a dosage. I think she's asking dosage here. So, I mean, just like you would do with an adult, um, you're going to start small. Um, so I started my son with one ProBio 5, one BioCleanse, um, one Mega X. And for how long um, did you do that, Bethany? Um, maybe only a week, you know, and I gauged with him, you know, all the, the same questions. Are you having any stomach issues? We watched his bowels, um, things like that. So you definitely want to keep an eye on things and asking them, you know, how they're feeling or if they're experiencing anything. Um, my son breezed right through it. And so we, we moved on. And so he's 10. Um, and we do two bio cleanse. We do, I'm sorry, we do four bio cleanse. Um, like I told you, he has major bowel issues. And so, we do four bio cleanse, two pro bio five, and two mega X. Great. Great. And Brooke, do you have any differing recommendation on that or? Um, you're talking for kiddos with ADHD or ADD. Mm -hmm. Um, so I can tell you, I always tell people when, um, I love this, uh, this chat with adults when they say they're not feeling, they want to, what the way they want to feel. And I ask them how many products they're on or what they're taking. And I'm like, well, my 70 pounds, um, 10 year old takes, two ProBio, two BioCleanse, um, one Mega X, one Vital Biome, and two kids chewables every night before bed. Um, every single night. If he's not pooping like he should, um, he takes more BioCleanse. If he's hurting at all, he takes Ease. Um, so I think it just depends. You're going to start low and you're going to go slow with anything. I say you treat kids and the elderly the same. The rest of us, we can probably, you know, suffer a little bit, <laughs> but babies and old people, we need to be careful with. I say old people, my parents, I have to call them elderly. I'm talking medical terms because my husband's great grandma's 96 and she uses triplex every single day. So, but you're going to start low and you're going to go slow with that. Um, and I don't know that, I think you're just going to find the right max for them, the right dose for them, because again, they can handle a ton of magnesium, a ton. So four bio cleanse is not too much for that kid. It just depends on um, that. And if you have an ADD kid, um, and you're looking at possible edge in there too. Um, that's just going to kind of depend on how they tolerate it, how big they are. I mean, it's sad if you look at the prescription dose of the stimulant they're on. Some of them are on some huge doses of that. So edge is nothing compared to the stimulant that they're prescribed from their doctor. Wow. Okay, great. Somebody's asking about um, what products would you recommend somebody struggling with acid reflux? What do you all think about that, about acid reflux issues? I mean, I've heard people talk about taking um, X Factor, original X Factor, and loading up on that for acid reflux because of the aloe. What do you all think? Most of my people use Triplex, and that's really what they, they see the relief in. Um, again, it comes back to um, gut and leaky gut and all of those things. Um, and so, it's all about, you know, it's again, all about establishing your gut health. Um, when you really look into it and you really do the research on the connection between acid reflux and gut health, it's amazing. Um, I have so many customers who have gotten relief from acid reflux, simply triplex. Awesome. Well guys, um, we're coming up on 10 o'clock bank or 11 o'clock your time, Bethany. Thank you all so, so much for being here. Um, Lindsay, are you still on, hun? See if she can hear. She might have her little kiddo with her. Yes, I'm here. Oh, there you are. Okay, and uh, Lindsay's going to go ahead and take us out here, guys. Well, I'm I'm looking through all these questions, and I, y'all, when I got started, I had no idea what. I this is embarrassing. Like, what even my thyroid was. <laughs> like, I remember asking, like, what in the, what is this? I just wasn't aware. But I just want to encourage y'all. You um, utilize our team pages, utilize your upline, go to that team page and type in, um, I would love to have another call at this, but in the meantime, you know, use your team pages, use your upline, type in keywords and see there's tons of stuff, especially on Roz's big page that will come up. that will kind of give you some tips and stuff, but um, kind of some of the th things that we heard tonight, I mean, 
so, so smart. I wish I could just have Bethany and Brooke in my back pocket all the time, but just ask a lot of questions, y'all. Be confident. You know that these products are going to work. Everybody's going to take a different time frame when they're going to get in their system and get them to work, but just be confident. So come from a place with your customers, with your ambassadors of a place of confidence. Look, these are going to work. Let me set these expectations with you, but you got to promise me that you're going to work with me and you're going to listen to me and you're going to answer back when I message you and ask you all these questions. So um, open-ended questions, ask a lot of questions. And I love how they were both saying, you got to take it every day. Mm -hmm. So helping them get on that simple system um, of, of getting us that stuff in every single day. So um, thank you guys so much for getting on and taking time to invest. And um, anything else? Yeah. Can people um, maybe uh, Brooke and Bethany over the next day or two can can look at these uh, questions on the chat and just answer the questions because they'll continue to um, be answered on here. This has been recorded, y'all. So I'll go ahead and um, put it on the page, and you can continue to ask questions under that as well. Oh, Lindsay, you got muted, baby. Oh, that's that's a great idea. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for getting on. This was awesome. They are so smart. Great. So thank you all so much. And you all have, have a fabulous night. And go Plexus. Bye, y'all.